It is a little bit cold and rainy today, as you can probably tell. But that's okay. We've had great weather out here so far, so not too, not too mad about it. Um, so today the plan is I was able to like, wake up and film a little bit of content in the carriage house, which is right there. Got to play a little bit of basketball, shoot around a little bit. I'm not good. Obviously, I can't jump. <laughs> um, but so the plan today, right? Allie is helping her mom and stepdad on the renovations of this 170-year-old house that they bought. So when you've been with someone for, uh, it'll be 15 years, we've actually been married for 10 years in December, Allie and I, and we know each other's strengths and weaknesses so well at this point. Allie is incredibly crafty, incredibly handy, and she's just really good and like meticulous with how she does stuff. So she's painting today. She loves to renovate. She loves the whole process of seeing something turn around from what once was undesirable to something that people think is beautiful, which I think is amazing. I, I cannot do it. That's not something that is in me to do. What I'm good at is business and making videos and going and looking for stuff. So <laughs> so today we're splitting up a little bit. They need help with the house, so Ali is gonna help out there. I will, in today's video, I will shoot some update videos for you guys that are interested in seeing the house now. Um, most of what has happened is uh, Mike, Ali's stepdad, has done a lot of sanding on the old floors, which is making them look beautiful. So they are gonna restain those floors and then they're focusing on like one room at a time. So Allie and her mom have been working on one particular room, which I believe today they are finishing up painting. And guys, I'm telling you, I'll try to show a before and after. It is night and day. It's really, really cool to see. So I'll show some of that in this video, um, but as far as today goes for me, I think I'm gonna head back out to um, a couple local stores because it's raining and it's a little sketchy to drive. Um, I'm gonna try to hit up some local thrift stores, maybe a Goodwill about half an hour away. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these New York vlogs. If you are, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, consider doing it, hit the thumbs up button, and let's go see what we can find today. spent on the Grateful Dead shirt. It's dated 1986, but definitely not 1986. If I was to date it, I would probably say mid 2000s on that one. But for $2.50, I still think we can get like $25, $30 for that. The Ugg boots and the Champion hoodie I left behind, mainly because we're kind of like, we're low on space now for what we can bring back home. So I figured the t-shirt was the best option. Shoes were just a little bit too big, but those would have been good buys, would have been good buys. Today is March 18th and it is day 10 of our thrifting trip in New York. This will be the last day that we get to thrift, really. Yeah. And we've kind of like been to all the thrift stores within, I'd say, an hour <laughs> of where we've yeah, been staying. Yeah, for the most part, yes. Yeah. Within an hour, definitely. Not an hour and 15 minutes, but an hour. <laughs> so today we're going back to a couple that we've been to already, um, but these were good thrift stores. The first one is the Salvation Army Family Store. Really cool store. That had higher end items in it. Yeah, we got those nice um, boots there too. Um, and then the second store we're going to, 
<laughs> is the same store that uh, that wonderful manager was at. But we're going to go back anyway. Whatever. It should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> hopefully. Fingers crossed. We'll use a cart this time. <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series so far. Um, it seems like you have. It's been doing pretty well. So please continue to hit the thumbs up button and leave comments because all of that helps with allowing us to get away and make more content like this. Yeah, and lets us know that you enjoy this, so it encourages us to go out of our way to do something like this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, also, Allie and her mom and stepdad have been renovating the house really well, and I know a lot of you guys want to see some of those updates. Yeah, we'll so give them to you. At the end of this video, Allie's going to give you a little walkthrough of what's happened so far at the house. Oh, <gasps> there's the sun. Here there's comes the sun. the sun. And it's still do, snowing. Do, do, do. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, well, look at that racing jacket. Dale Jarrett. That's cool. $150. What you got there, love? Oh, it looks like a book. Boom. Oh my Mutated gosh, no. Not the Scooby-Doo. Yeah. That's amazing. I found amazing linens here last time we came, so the first thing I did was I went to the linens. That is so cool. It's such a good print. Tablecloth and backdrops. We'll keep them for a long That's time. Sick. And they'll only appreciate in value. <laughs> so listen, I was looking at you, and then I turned around. What? And look what I saw. Those? Because I can't stop looking at them. You want me to look at this, but all I can look at is this. Those have to be Zubas. They have to be. Bye. If these are not Green Bay Zubas, then I'm a terrible reseller. They're definitely Green Bay Zubas. <laughs> Let's go. You have to get these. Um, by the Let's way, go. if you don't wash them in a bag, they rip at the crotch. That's so true. three of yours have ripped now because they haven't been put in a bag in the laundry. That's a bye bye. Bye bye. Those are actually kind of cool. They're old. Made in Japan. No leather. What? And it's like almost neoprene in here. It's not neoprene, but it, it looks like it. These are snow mitts. Oh, those are like wow. negative 10 degrees. You wear those. I've always wanted, it's on my like bucket list, really? to find a Scotty Cameron putter at the thrift store. Oh. I didn't do that, but does this count as finding a Scotty Cameron putter? Because I found the t-shirts. 99 cents, <laughs> that's cool. Put them together. That's funny, so you've always wanted to find this putter. I've always wanted to find, so the putters go for three, four hundred dollars sometimes. I pr probably can still get like 30 bucks per t-shirt. You've always wanted to find Wilson new with tags, and uh, Tyler did. I know. <laughs> oh, also I found this. Check this out. Show me what Shout you Shout out got. 2003 AFI shirt. Oh, shh. Did you remember how much I loved AFI? <laughs> yeah. There you go. This is your size, babe. Are you sure I went to an AFI? No, I went to an Authority Zero concert, which was amazing at a small venue. Yeah. Yeah. A little AFI. Yeah. All right. Spark notes on a Disney book that they make a book. Boom. All right, settlers. Scouting for the Indians, John Smith thought he was being followed, discovered Pocahontas, then their souls touched. Yes. And then and that's it. the Indians weren't happy about them being there, hungry wolves, but then Pocahontas showed him the colors of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and done. That's pretty awesome. I like it. To the front, you got your cute little cat pink. That's awesome. Wait, that's Rip and Dip, right? What's the tag on it? It says Rip and Dip. Yeah, that's good. It's a good shirt. It's a good shirt. <laughs> Rip and Dip. It's a. It's like a Zoomies brand, but people it's really funny. like Rip and Dip stuff. How much is it? Is it ninety nine cents? A dollar ninety nine? I think it's a dollar ninety nine. The Rip and Dip. It's so funny. Is that like Dare? But safe, substance abuse free environment. I don't have any idea. It's Never vintage. heard of safe. Dang, that's new with tags. <laughs> Shout out the OG. That is funny. Tommy. Big logo, new with tags. It's $10. Do you think they're going to bring out this new rack? Oops. I really want to know what that is right there. Guys, there's a there's a vintage Dallas Cowboys Pro and jacket back there. I asked about that stuff, but they said they don't have anyone pricing on weekends, only on weekdays. So they only bring out new racks on, on weekdays. weekdays. That makes and sense. That she was at first saying like, oh, none of that stuff is priced back there. And then she goes, but that one's already sold. The so Dallas that jacket? that means that a good one of the, employees saw Well, this is Salvation it. Army. Sorry, but. Salvation Army <laughs> liked it. I think this is Goodwill. So Salvation Army employee liked it. It's pricing it for themselves. You and think they're so? never even going to bring it out. And they're just going to buy it for themselves. 
So that sounds really sketchy. That does sound sketchy. And it's not right because Salvation Army, I know at least in Florida, their money goes to rehabilitation centers for drug mm -hmm. addicts. That actually, I don't even know if that's an employee. That might be someone like backdooring the stuff. Yeah, like it sounds another, like... Like another vintage reseller or something has a relationship with someone and it's like, pick me out good stuff. That's what that sounds like to me. Yeah. Are you allowed to sell items there before they're put out on the floor? Because our Salvation Army is different. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. But she knows. The other lady. That is weird though, right? Yeah. What is like weird. employees are allowed to keep stuff for themselves before it comes out? We have an opportunity to. Why you do? Before it comes out. Well, um, I just didn't know like you were allowed to do that. Our salvation army just is different. We're just wondering because we're obviously not from the area and where we were from, the salvation mm -hmm. army is. Um, they have to put the stuff on the floor before the employees are allowed to buy the stuff. Right. Is that how it is here too? Mm -hmm. Okay, so why is there's a jacket in the back that we've been told is already sold? But so how does that how does that work? Also told nothing in the back is priced. It shouldn't be. Okay, there's literally a jacket sitting in the back. It's gone. I mean it somebody's spoken for it. That's what I was told. So how, how is that possible? Are people holding stuff for, for themselves, customers? Like pricing it low, um, holding it, it for themselves, not putting it on the floor, and then it's, keeping it for themselves? Because that might be happening. Happen. I haven't done any of That might be I'm happening. It break. happened at our Salvation Army. And I don't know. I only work three days a week. And oh, that's it, okay. I don't know. I was just listen, we're not, not I'm, I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble, we're just trying but to it's help also, you, guys out. you might want to look into that because it sounds like there's, there's been many times with, yeah, we're yeah. just trying to help you out. We're not and trying if people to are like backdooring you. stuff for other people, yeah, because you're that's raising money, cool. right? Exactly. So if someone's taking advantage of you and you don't know about it, I wanted to let you know. I'm not okay. trying to attack. I, I just wanted to help you. We love Salvation but Armies. I'm not, we're not trying to come down on anybody. Army, like, so who had, told we've had you friends go was... through the drug programs in Florida and come and out like amazing people. So. And it's There's nothing wrong about Salvation Army. Yeah. Lives. So I that's just, why I just thought we should talk to you and yeah. let you know that yeah. it seemed... Because in our, our Salvation Army, you have to price it as the employee and then it goes out on the floor and stays for 10 days so that... Employees aren't pricing it low, not putting it right. out on the floor and then buying it cheap for themselves, right? Yeah. Like, we, there's a reason We for have it, to I'm wait kidding. until it's priced and put on the floor. And it's and the same cool. price that it would be for anybody. Yeah, yeah. that's good. We get a discount. Which is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you, you should. Know, should. You definitely so should. So it does make up. Yeah. yeah. But like if but that, yeah, if, it's got to hit if that there jacket, is a lot of... I know that that's an expensive jacket. Mm -hmm. If that jacket is not coming on the floor and being sold to someone outside of Salvation Army, like that, that is that is an issue, and that does happen. Yeah. So and that's I would just say I'll, maybe I'll maybe talk look to her into her that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I just if don't want you to be taken advantage of if you're not aware, because it's. I just started asking questions, and she got really weird about it. And I was like, "Why are you being weird? I'm just asking questions. Like, mm -hmm. the money goes to a wonderful cause. Yes, we and if something see. bad is happening, don't you want to know? And you don't want to just stick your head in the sand. Right? It's an employee that is buying me a jacket. Oh, you know the jacket? Yeah. Okay. Because I wanted to buy it for my brother. Yeah, it's a, goes, it's no, a great it's, jacket. Yeah, I, was, yeah, it I noticed it's it now, and I was like, like, you know, yeah. inside. But yeah, yeah. So, you know, my brother wouldn't care. He's yeah, yeah. Same. Just bringing it to your attention. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you like so I much. Said, that, that is our policy. It, yeah. it has okay. to be priced but it's not like it would go to, by the way. We With that one. With that one. Take care of that one. Yeah. You're good. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. you. Sus levels off the charts. <laughs> Something is not right. <laughs> Red is sus. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. We know that backdoor deals happen at thrift stores all the time. But I get it. At least don't be so blatant about it. Put it in the back or something where the customers Hide can't walk past and better. see it. Jeez, <laughs> if you're gonna be sketchy, be be good sketchy. Well, first they said the rule is it has to go on the floor, but then they said that one has been spoken for, so it's never even gone on the floor or yeah. been priced. Which yeah. it has to be priced and then go on the floor, and then an employee can buy it. But this has not happened, so they confirmed that that hasn't happened. Because we're we're not trying to call out these thrift stores. We're really not. I wanted to buy that jacket and see yeah. the stuff on the rack in the back. I was like. How, all we did was ask how much the jacket was and if it was going to be coming out on the floor. Yeah. And then they got really weird. So yeah, the lady know. got so weird. Yeah. About it, which is fine. But again, Salvation Army, the money goes to a very, very good cause. Yeah. I've known people whose lives have been changed by it, and if this one's getting taken advantage of, that's taking money from helping people. Right. You know, go through rehabilitation centers. Yeah. So. So that was awesome. But Other than that, I mean, sus. whatever. I don't care. You do you. Just don't have a policy and blatantly, 
Yeah, more violated. Like, more like Suspation Army. Suspation. <laughs> All right, we're back at the Goodwill where the manager loves us. So hopefully we don't we're get kicked out. <laughs> hopefully she doesn't just go get out. I don't know if she's seen the video or not. So I don't see her. I don't see her. Yes. I think we're good, guys. <laughs> Free. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Oh no. Hey, what's your thoughts on these? Oh. <gasps> I love that. Yeah? Yeah, it's on a nice fat Tulix. Five it's bucks. A fatty. Tulix. <laughs> Tulix. <laughs> I like Tulix though. I like Tulix. Look at this cute little one. Hello, ladybug. You have to buy that. Can I give you a hug? Oh, poo. Poo. I loved poo as a kid. And then. <laughs> oh, okay, you know I love that. That goes without saying. It's single stitch. You have to buy that. Okay. They're it's all five X? five dollars each though. You know? Price is a little high, but I mean Okay. Uh, yeah. Get them all? Yeah. She gave you mad stank eye. She walked by me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pretty sure she's seen it. So we did get a couple dirty looks, but I think I think it's all good. You know, like I said in the last video, we all have bad days and I don't, I don't blame her for the way that she treated us in the last video. Um, but you know, maybe that'll help her be a little bit nicer to other customers. And also like the whole thing with us using a bag instead of using a cart, that wasn't the issue at all. If it was just like, if she was a bit nicer about it, it wasn't as rude. That was really the, the big thing, but we all have bad days. All right, everybody, I'm gonna share with you what we've accomplished on this trip. Not as much as we hoped for, but more than we thought. Famous last words. <laughs> as you can see, I feel so much sadness that we couldn't get the bed made because all I wanted to do was see the bed made. But whenever you see how far we've come in the room, you'll understand, um, yeah, we are supposed to be leaving for the airport in 20 minutes and we have no time to make the bed and film this video, so this is more important. You guys ready for this? Bum, ba -dum, bum How far we've come. I wanna see this bed made. Yeah, this is it. This is how far we've come. My mom has a friend who is a traveling nurse and she is moving in. April 15th, so I believe she's gonna come back up here and finish the room off and then she'll just send me pictures of how beautiful it looks. But this is everything we've done. You guys like this paint color? It is called Teton Blue or Teton Blue. It's, uh, I think it's a mountain range, right? It's a mountain range. Um, I've never been there, so I don't know the proper pronunciation, but look, while thrifting, we got this for $10.99. Woo! This is, a bed that my neighbor was getting rid of and told me I could have it because it was just sitting in their driveway and it was supposed to get donated and then it rained for like five days and they never came and picked it up. So I got this bed. Uh, the box spring is new. We have a mattress that is gonna go on top of here. This came from my bonus dad's mom's house whenever she went into a nursing home. My mom picked up this gorgeous dresser. I think she got it for $200. It just needs a little bit of wax so that it slides a little bit more smoothly or you can use a bar of soap, which smells really nice. Um, if I can make the bed after we film this and then I'll show you guys if we have time, but we gotta load the car and we only have now 18 minutes to load the car, be in the car and leave because we are gonna go to Bill Bar because somebody who watches us on YouTube sent us a message and they cooked there and they wanted us to come. So we were like, oh, okay, let's do that. So we're trying to do a lot of things. Replace the light. Um, all of the electrical was run through the gas line because they used to have gas lighting. Can you believe that? Literally gas lighting. So here's the light. We gotta make it a little less crooked. Um, my mom bought smart bulbs, so now they're in pairing mode. And I was like, mom, why would you buy four smart bulbs? When someone's renting, they're gonna do this every time they turn on unless they hook up to them. So she has to get different bulbs because these are not appropriate bulbs for a renter. Note to self. But we 
did so much work before we could even paint. I mean, we had to like, we had to spackle in all the cracks and then do all of the caulking and do a lot of repairs. Had a disaster with the floor. The guy at the store told my mom the wrong instructions. So now that has to get redone. We have to trim this mattress pad because they always make them a little bit bigger. So that has to get done. But the things that, oh, this also came from my bonus dad's mom's house. This desk is gonna get sanded a bit more because um, it's already shabby. So we're gonna try to make it a little more shabby chic. And then with this bed, we didn't do the best paint job on it. So I shabby chic it as well because I had a feeling that it would be easier to take care of a bed that's already chipped than to continually fix the chips because I don't think that we primed it and painted it the proper, proper way. Cause I was very particular about that. So I was like, nope, we're doing shabby chic. But one of my favorite things, kabam! The Phragmatites, or Phragmatites. So I put those here to hide this aux cord for the video. Nice. Aux cable? Sure. Cable cord. And all of the outlets replaced those, which was quite interesting in an old house. And dun, 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 dun. the closet. Look at how good it looks. And my mom does have to get a new chain. Look how, how funny. This was their, their thing. Like, yeah, this is what they use. But aside from that, I did floor pops in here because it's plywood underneath the carpet when we ripped out the carpet. And we didn't like the idea of carpet in here for sanitary reasons. So I popped out the threshold. They can get a different threshold, but I just try to line it up as best as possible. My cuts were amazing. I could be a professional floor pop installer. Do I want to do that? Hell no, but I could, <laughs> but I could. The moment I'm sure you're And I think that I got much better at cutting in. You can see here, my cut in lines, not the best. I have a lot of work to do there. So uh, you can criticize me if you want, but we had so much to do and just not enough time. But yeah, this looks really, really good. And of course, you know, whenever you have real wood floors and then you need to put in vinyl floors, you don't want to try to mix woods. Little suggestion, like word from the wise, just get something completely different but the tone of this floor matches. And we just went on Amazon to buy them because yeah, Home Depot and those had like two options and they were terrible. They didn't even have cool ones. But what do you guys think? We got really far. This color is called inked. It was supposed to be a little more navy, but I think that I like that it's a bit brighter because we want to bring some like life and happiness to the space. And I didn't want to use only all muted colors. There will be a wing back chair in the corner here I didn't have time to paint it, but you can use chalk paint to paint upholstery if you didn't know. And you can make your own chalk paint from latex paint with plaster of Paris, water and fabric softener. There's a couple of different recipes. Just figure out, you know, you could test it on like the back and see what you prefer, but that's what we're going to do. We're gonna use, we're gonna make chalk paint out of this blue paint with the plaster of Paris and fabric softener. Soak the chair and some water like you missed it and then we're gonna paint it and it's gonna go right here and it's gonna look so pretty. But this is, this is it. So maybe after we load the car, um, cause now we have 13 minutes where we need to like be leaving. Maybe I can make the bed. Put your try. Oh, hey, I'm Allie from Rally Crafts. <laughs> of Rally Roots. <laughs> Of, of rally roots. There will be more stuff coming on my channel. Uh, if this project wasn't so rushed and we had everything a bit more organized, I would have properly filmed the entire thing from start to finish and gone through it all and even told you how long it took us to do a couple of the different aspects of the project, like repairing the walls and everything that went into it. But on my channel in the future, I will be filming everything that we're doing at a slower pace because we had to get this ready for someone to move in. Wasn't happy about being rushed, but happy I got to see something almost complete. Thanks everybody, love you. You should watch my channel whenever I post a video, which is like once a year. So not, not much of a commitment there from either of us. So there you go guys and girls. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Yay. This is a nice view right here. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is nice. 
Um, what I want you to do is comment where we should travel to next. Where That's should we, we go to next? That's what we need to know. Yeah. Let us know. Where should we go? Lettuce. Lettuce. Can you pop up a lettuce? Lettuce. Lettuce. Are there, <laughs> are there any like cool markets we should go to or? That's what we want. Yeah. Yeah. We want to go to locations. Maybe markets. road trip to? I don't know. But let us know in the comments. Please. If we can road trip there, let us know. Yeah. And subscribe for more. Traveling, thrifting, fun videos just wait, like this. Wait, wait, we're outside of Tampa, Florida. Okay, yeah, we're, we're so Florida. just MapQuest yeah. from Tampa. Yes. MapQuest, Somewhere, is some, that still a thing? No. I just said <laughs> MapQuest, ew, ew, David. How old am I? I'm gonna be 35 in literally a month. Yeah. I'm gonna oh my be, gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna be 35 in 29 days. I'm gonna plan something for your birthday and send you MapQuest directions. <laughs> I'd probably find it, no problem, honestly. All right, guys and girls, love you lots. Peace. Chicken grease. Everybody say goodbye, New York. 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 Goodbye, New York.